This is the, the usual um, technical report on um, Treasury management activities uh, in that financial year. Um, I want to uh, acknowledge the saving of two million from cap capital finance activities um, that, that's been delivered, which I think is a good result. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm merely going to point you to the recommendations on 12. Um, suggest that we agree those recommendations and, and on 12.3 um, that the saving of 2 million from capital financing activities be noted and welcomed. So can we agree those recommendations? Thank you. Very good. So that takes us to, uh, uh, we've done item 8, uh, so that takes us on to item, uh, the ch children and family services items. First one is item 9. Uh, which is Children and Young People's Department Day Nursery Provision. Um, as a point of note, 
and three of the five remaining gay nurseries that it's talked about earlier are based in or co-located co local authority community primary schools. And they are Hillside Primary, Discard Primary, and Rockberry Primary. One, which is in Berber, is on the site of Catholic Aided Primary School. And the fifth, Marine uh, Place, is sited in the St. James Centre, which is owned and managed by North American Health and Development Trust. Um, the schools have indicated that they are willing to work with the local authority to offer new, uh, uh, to uh, work with the local authority to take, possibly take over these, uh, these nurseries. Um, any new post in the schools would have revised terms and conditions reflecting the needs of the school in terms of term time contracts. There are currently between 60 and 70 staff who are affected by the recommendations in these posts. There is a shared and genuine drive share across our school and the local authority to narrow the gap and improve school readiness and preparedness to work differently to improve outcomes for children, for families in our communities. Uh, since work began to consider the council's future arrangements for its gate nursery provision, government's ambition for more school-based provision for two-year-olds has become more apparent. Uh, formal consultations uh, will be undertaken, and um, this will be over a proposed uh, uh, 12 week uh, period. Uh, and um, we hope to um, come back with a uh, further report in the near future. I mean, I think it's, it's good that we, we are having that 12 week consultation period. I think that um, hopefully will we'll provide some um, reassurance to, to parents to make sure that. Um, they can have their say, and if alternative arrangements need to be put in place, there should be time to enable that to, to happen. So I think that's um, that, that's very welcome. Um, so happy, Tony, to uh, agree your suggestion that we support the recommendations in uh, paragraph 12. Are they, are they agreed, Hamlet? Okay, thank you. Very good. Um, so that then takes us to uh, item um, 10 which is provision of children and adult transport services. Sorry, it's you again. Okay, I'll, I'll keep this short, uh, Chair. Um, <coughs> the, the World Council transports children from home to school and vulnerable adults from home to day centres placed in an education provision. The transportation is provided <coughs> through contracted services from external transport provider, an in-house fleet, and additional commission transport as required. Current external contracts are due to expire in the summer of 2014. <coughs> New contracts are required in order to fulfill the transfer requirements for eligible students and adults based on World Council transport policy. <coughs> this report seeks approval to award new transport contracts. Procurement advice is taken regarding contract length, one year contract from the 1st of September 2014 to the 31st of August. Optional extension of one year because budget savings are in place in both children and adults in transport areas. 2.25 million is proposed in savings over the next six years. Changes in demand for transport are routinely monitored. The new contract has been designed to allow flexibility in order to efficiently manage changes in demand over the life of the contract. Legal advice has been taken on the new contract design. Fourth contract award is three million six hundred fifty-three thousand four hundred ninety-four, um, and that's a one-year operation. Two million eight hundred fifty-six thousand thirteen thirty-five for same transport, and seven hundred ninety-six thousand seven hundred fifty-nine for adult transport. This compares to the contract budget provision of four million thirty-one thousand six hundred, and is a reduction of three hundred seventy. Reduction of contract costs across the budget will be part of the agreed transport savings in 2014-15, which are children and young people, 524,700, staff support, 15,000, that's for the sorry, children and young people, academic year, staff support, 15,000 for the financial year. It is anticipated that other savings will be made during the year related to the amount 